Hey. Thank you. Where'd you get them? Can I take a photo of it? Sure. Thank you so much. It's a little match with a little bit mine. I like yours. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's my Shabbat shoes. <laughs> yeah, special. <laughs> I, I, I just did. Oh, you did love yeah, it. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. So nice much. glasses. It matches mine. Thank you so much. So, welcome to Sheni Vachamishi. Here's the story. So, we ran out of food because we had a fabrengen that we thought would be with a um, couple of people and it, it doubled and tripled. You have to stay focused. There's a lot of Yetzirah around, but you got to stay focused. Oh, by the way, Casey Neistat showed off his electric scooter on, on YouTube and I didn't know that such a thing is Bachlal. You know, you don't show off toys, but if he did it, I'll show off mine. Well, It's not a healthy thing. I don't like riding it. I like a bicycle, and but this you could allows you to smoke a cigar. So it's Aveda, get at Aveda. You're not doing exercise and you're smoking a cigar. Now, what's the oh? So we ran out of food in Fabreng, and I didn't want to go with uh, you know. I had a, this machine doesn't make noise. The batteries, so I could sneak out. Nobody could hear. No engine starting. But we basically ran out of food and uh, mashkenat, but the uh, kosher wine we ran out of. So uh, what happened was, th this, this Shabbos started Thursday night. Thursday night at the Gemara Shir, we started to explain and uh, to people who are, didn't grow up uh, Chabad, what's this Oy Rebbe and Tate, Oy Tate, we please open up your door and welcome back your one and only son, each and every Yid. This stuff was like, wow, it's like the pain of concealment, tears are heart and soul. How long can this gullus carry on? And then it goes, tate, tate, we plead. And people are watching, what? So one guy in the shir is a Jew from Arizona, Ashkenazi Yid, and he says, if you don't, if you're not orthodox, you don't serve, you know, you don't keep the, the laws, you're not even trying, you're not even pretending. A lot of people, they at least they pretend, they do, they do Avedis at Bitsina. But they, but in, in the outside, they try to show, and even the conservative Jews, they park their car a few blocks away from Shul and they walk. So I told him, when I was in yeshiva, I would always say to my Yetzirah, today, I'll, today I'll, I'll be a tzaddik, tomorrow I'll be a rasha. To postpone, postpone the urges and the whims and all that, and it worked very well. I stayed clean and, and squeaky clean in the yeshiva days. I'll never go down to the midrach of Rabbi Wolshansky, was very impressed. All these Americans had uh, gave the yeshiva a bad name, and I gave the Americans a good name, and the yeshiva a good name. So, and my chavrusa was all thanks to Shmuley Goldfarb, my chavrusa, who even brought me to the yeshiva. I, would, I wouldn't want to go to this crazy yeshiva. They were singing yechi, ripping up kontresim from Kfar Chavad, burning it. I was like, this Judaism is too advanced for me. Burning, burning kovitz uh, popolim uh, because it has zia in it. That's too advanced. So, uh, what happened was. Um, so about the Yitzhahara, you got to stay focused. The Yitzhahara is everywhere. Now, uh, the biggest Yitzhahara comes in a white beard with a talus, with a zayd and a kapata. That's the biggest Yitzhahara, worse than thousand, the thousand women that Shleim HaMelech was stooping in Yerushalayim, in Kodesh, with the Avay Dezara. Nothing worse than a zayd and a zupitza and, and a, a new mystic in town. So... So he asked me, how do you be, uh, you know, you're the Rebbe, the connection. So I said, the Rebbe is my Zayda, first of all. You do everything your Zayda says? No. If your Zayda is a racist, do you have to be a racist? That's uh, what, what I covered. The, 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 and then I explained to him that only because understanding it, understanding the Rebbe so well, are you able to have that, that connection, that mystical connection that's, that, that, that doesn't carry shame. If you want to carry shame, carry shame. You want to be a robot, be a robot. But don't mix that into chassidus. Don't mix the, the traditional shame. Oh, a lady today in shul uh, was speaking about how do, how do you have a connection to the Rebbe and not be from. So this, the, the answer is very simple. The Rebbe says that Gedim are children of, of uh, Amisha Omar Vahaya Oilam. He who spoke the world into existence. Kucha Brichu, God, Supreme. And Jews are children of Avram, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. He never said this to someone by dollars. So what does that mean? 
if you're going to keep Sheva Mitzvah Spinanayach, which a lot of times is higher because you can elevate everything, and if you can't become a guy because you're born a Yid, so at least your kids could be goyim and have this big schos of being like a ger. What's a ger? Keeping Shev Mitzpanech. It doesn't mean a ger is not someone who becomes a halachically observant Jew. As one woman who was uh, raised Anglican in Shul today, uh, she does everything according to Luach Chabad, Kolo Chabad, that thin Luach. She does everything. She's a hardcore Lubavitcher, but she never got the gear because the, the Beit Din couldn't pass her. I asked her, what was the, what was the stumbling block? She said, they said, until you own a house, we can't be Megayar you. Probably they just want certain fees, and if you own a house, and they can pay the fees, meaning if God strikes your luck and she's not doing well financially. So I explained to her that in the traditional Judaism, we don't have uh, poor Jews. We had a poor Jew, and he became a god, uh, uh, Jesus. So that didn't work well. The people serving God in the temple were kohanim, not, not mamzadim. Kohen Levi Yisrael mamza, they're the levels. If there was no Kaihanim, there would be no Mamzerim. The Mamzer is the guy that's, he's not the pure blood. He's not Geje. So, so what happened? The, I explained to her that the Karbonus was given by the Gvirim. The, and if you weren't a Gvir, you were Eved. What's an Eved? You schlep the carbon. You're, you could schlep the carbon to the base of Mikdash, but you're not the guy giving the carbon. You're not the guy, the Samach Yodei, Aresha Oila, Visvada. A Eved can't do vidui. A Eved doesn't have sins. A Eved doesn't have sins because a Eved doesn't have choice. The Gvir has the sins. When, there, when there's a war and people are dying and little children are falling off boats and coming up on the shore, a, ba a baby drowns, the poor people say, God, it's all God. But the rich man who could have easily helped out, a, lot, a couple of rich people, yacht owners, boat owners, started saving African migrants. They, they just said, what the hell? We're going to go and have, this is a time of, of people are dying. They went out there with their tubes, rubber dinghies, and all that, all these tchotchkes, and they were saving people that were floating on these not, on these godly boats. Boats that only God, they were trusting in God, not trusting in technology and science and mathematics, making sure that the boat could stand up to the pressures and stresses of the ocean and to float and all that and, and, and the other laws of, of physics. Matter in motion. So, these rich people went out there to save. So what does a rich person say during war? He doesn't say anything. He hides his face until the war is over. Then he comes out, puts on his tie. And I'm not talking about rich having a few extra dollars. I'm talking about people are... The gvir, the the melech malchi amlochim. The gvir of the gvirim. I used to love to target them. I used to love to... When you have them, the gvirim are second class. And you fucking screw you. I'm going to the gvir's gvir. And there you go, and you make connections, and you take over the world. The Rebbe said, Kera Veltain, Tutalt Vaser Kent. And then the Avoida is done. One of the so songs we sang last night was, The Mashiach has come, the Avoida is done. The whole Avoida of Biru, rituals, mitzvahs, all this stuff is done. All the Avoida Sakarbanis is not going to happen when Mashiach comes, because everything is going to be Yichud, Zun, Datsilus, Radlol, Mailam, Misei, the Rishtal Shalos. Nice. You have to clever, you have to focus. Don't look at the eight zahares and these cars. Stick with the shlichas. So I explained to him how it could be that you could have a connection to the Rebbe and not be Orthodox observant Jew. Not only is is it possible, but it's better, as the Rebbe would say. So um, thank you uh, for watching. Shady Vachamishi and have a great rest of your Shabbos.